Shallow. Come on. We're at chasing some of these guys. Big time midwinter northern pike. These are some nice fish. This is a great time of year to find them. And we're actually up here scouting out a spearing spot for next week. So this is going to be a good show. That big girl back. Kind of what we got going on is it's getting close to the end of February right now. And these fish are going to start to kind of migrate towards where they're going to spawn in about two months here. Uh, they're the first fish to spawn during the year. Right when that water temp hits 40, they'll be up in this big flat behind me spawning. So they're kind of cruising down here right now, getting those last big meals in. So we're up real shallow. We're in about three, four feet of water. Putting big sucker minnows on and big dead baits. Spread out some tip ups. We're going to have some fun today. Put off a lot of stink in the water. This is just smelt I got from the grocery store. There's a lot of oil and fatty and smell on them. It can be a really good bait for these big northerns this time of year. Get this loaded back up. I'll show you kind of how deep we are here. It's uh, like I was saying, this time of year they're already moving back towards kind of where they spawn. And uh, I've got about three feet of ice. I got about four feet of line out. I'm right under the ice. We're only in three, four feet of water, so you minus that with where the ice is here. It's probably only about eight to ten inches of actual water under the ice. It's pretty cold out today. We got hole covers on. We're gonna start kind of moving around. If you get a lull in the action like we've had for the last hour, what you can do is you can start walking around, start drilling some holes. And just that commotion a lot of times, they'll get some fish to come into the area and check it out. Right out of his mouth. Felt him, gonna give him more line. But, you know, putting these tip-ups out like this and, and really doing a little uh, scouting basically for our spearing show coming up, is, this is a great idea and this is a lot easier than cutting out a big spear hole and wasting an unproductive spot. We've had some flags go up now, we got some big baits down in that and it's showing us there's a lot of nice fish around here. We get another minute, get back down there. Right away. Looks so nice. nice. That is what you come out tip up fishing for. That is a wonderful fish. Get this hook out. These fish are so shallow this time of year, and nobody's up here doing this. You know, this is about the second or second week I've done this now, and we've had tip-up action like crazy. Nice fish all the way around. But it doesn't get any better than that. That is a beautiful fish right there, just outside Pearl like this. There's, there's lakes like this all over the place. You just got to do a little research and look. But I tell you what, I'm putting my spear house here next weekend. We even 
wonder why. These, these late winter fish like this really move up shallow and it's a, people don't come up here and fish it. If you're not doing it, you're really missing out on a hot bite. So join us next week for our spearing show with Larry Lang. And the week after, we're getting in the house and we're gonna get some of these guys to come in the hole.